They said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of this race. Hey everybody, what's up? This is Old The Truth Hostage, where if the truth was so important, we wouldn't negotiate with lies. Now this video is about, you know, I did a video recently on mobility. I mean, YouTube's been, been you know, blocking me and slowing down. The awareness of the videos, whatever it's doing, whatever. You know what I mean? The information will get to who it needs to get to. But this video is going to focus on the divorced man. You know what I'm saying? The divorced man and the, the man on child support and why mobility is their only way to freedom. I did a video on mobility. But it was more open towards, you know, towards the economical benefits, you know what I'm saying, rather than the perspective of how it could save your life. You know, I, I talk to a lot of guys on here. They, they've been divorced. They've been married. Uh, they're on child support, whatever you want to call it. So why is mobility, <clears throat> mobility your best option? And, and this video is a live by the one strike. This is a live by the one strike video, you know, which means, you know, I, I get, you know, I really go at a far higher level of honesty. Live by the one strike is all about one thing, man. You only tolerate things once. You know, any sign of disrespect, you know what I mean? Uh, for example, you know, you're in a relationship that, that that chick yells at you, but she would never yell at her boss. That's when you tell her, well, I, we this is over. You can't respect you as the man in her life are far more important than the, her her boss because her boss hired her off of unemployment need. You hired her to participate in a relationship based off of a trust and attraction and respect. If she can't hold that at a higher level than her boss who, who isn't there with her outside of her working, then you have to, as a man, in living by the one strike, you gotta cut her. You know what I'm saying? You got to let it go. That's what living by the one strike is about. You don't tolerate much because you as a man have to understand things escalate. You know what I'm saying? When you could be eliminated in one strike, you know, false allegation, uh, this or that, a domestic could, you know what I mean? Uh, what is that thing where they, a restraining order. You know what I'm saying? Could end your whole career, your whole livelihood. You are, as a man, on one strike. You're one strike away from destruction. So why would you give others more than one strike when it comes to what you tolerate? And you got to live, when you live by the one strike, you're understanding the law of escalation. If someone's willing to yell at you, what's the next level? What's worse than that? What's going to be worse when it escalates? But let me get back to it. So what you got to understand is that, and why I say you divorce men, you um, men with child support, the future for you men is mobility. And uh, as I stated in my mobility video is check this out. Your phone is mobile. You know what I'm saying? Your car is mobile. You know what I mean? Your 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 uh your paycheck is mobile with direct deposit. So why isn't your home mobile? You know, you as a man, it would be best if your home was I'd say an R V or you know what I'm saying? An R V if it's mobile because when you're seeking opportunities, you have to be mobile. 
And the thing is this, a lot of back in the 1950s and so on, people moved to apartments and houses because that was a sign that the cities were developed. It wasn't, they didn't do it because they wanted to or you know, it, it's the right thing to do or something like that. It's maximizing their opportunities. No, they, yeah, it was about maximizing opportunity because back then, you know, that city had electricity. But you, as the modern man, mobility would be your best option, especially if you've been through a divorce Especially if you've been in a divorce or, or on child support, your best bet is to have a mobile home, a home where you're mo mobile for opportunities. If you got to go chase an opportunity, a job, you could go there. You know what I mean? The thing about an RV is everything's built in the house. The home is in there. The bed is in there. Everything's in there. In today's age, you know, we're not in the 1990s or two, early 2000s. We're in the age of Wi-Fi where your phone literally has the internet on it, you know. All the cell phone numbers, all your contacts are literally on your phone. And you could even have a, a mobile Wi-Fi modem. You know, we cut cable. You know, we cut cable. Think about it. We cut cable out of our lives. Why not cut a stationary home? The problem with a with an apartment, especially if you're a man on a child support or on, you know, just been divorced, is that, think about it. You know what I'm saying? A home, you have to go to it. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're working 40 hours to go to a home to maintain an apartment or a house, whatever, that you are not there that long you know what i'm saying you're not there you know longer and another thing is what conan 19 the destroyer you know what i'm saying shout out to rpm he calls it charlie 19 i call it conan 19 the destroyer you know what i'm saying what conan 19 taught man men is that you know what i mean with this epidemic going on whatever you want to call it A lot of these government officials are abusing it on certain states where they shut down the entire state, where you can't get work, you can't do nothing. If you were mobile, if you had a mobile home, you could just ditch the state. Because let's be honest, man, all of us men are loyal to the opportunities. We're not loyal to our state, just like our state isn't loyal to us. Your governor doesn't care. Look at it. Look at what they've done. Look at their actions. You know what I'm saying? Cases are more important than fatalities. You know what I'm saying? Than the fatality rate. You know what I mean? So if your state isn't loyal to you, why are you so loyal? You know what I mean? You saw it. They shut down. Then why are you so loyal to people that legally try to destroy you with the family court and, you know, the whole judicial system and all that crap? Why are you loyal to them? There's no point. A stationary home, you have to go to that home. You have to get to it. You can't just be there at all times. You got to go to that home. And the other thing is this. When you live in a stationary home, you subconsciously keep putting and buying more stuff so, it's, so you stay there longer. You know what I'm saying? You become possessive of it. You know what I'm saying? And you keep putting stuff in there. And, and you got to think about our, our great ancestors, you know, those cavemen and all them. They were nomads. They were moving. They were on the move, man. When an opportunity came, them cavemen were out that cave. They were somewhere else. They were in a new cave or they were somewhere else. They were always moving. They were moving with the nature, moving with the rhythm of survival. You know what I'm saying? And opportunities. Now, the reason this is best for you as a divorced man and a man on child support is that, you know, let, let me get a little back to the economics is that, check it out. They sell you the house, but they don't sell you the land below the house. And they try to lock you down on a five-year, 10-year mortgage. You know what I'm saying? 
where you're thinking that you think the land prices and the taxes on the land are going to be the same for the next 30 years? No, it could be increased. Then you're going to think for the next 10 to 30 years that your job and your health is going to be the same, that even the governors of that state aren't going to do something stupid. You know what I mean? You as a man who's been divorced or on child support, your best bet is a mobile home. You can always Airbnb an apartment or a house if you miss living in a house or whatever. But uh, the reason a mobile home for you is important, especially in your scenario where on child support or on, you know what I'm saying, or are on, you know, paying alimony due to a divorce is that you want to minim minimize your life. You know what what you 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 have to become a minimal minimalistic individual, and a mobile home allows you to maximize your uh, what's left of your resources. Cause check it out, a lot of people are jealous of the rich, not because they drive fast cars and all that stuff. Cause you could experience driving a car, you can experience living in a nice house. You know what you can experience that ability to be so mobile that when you you can leave anytime you want. That, that's the biggest thing. People are jealous of the rich is their ability to leave when they want. You know their ability to be so mobile they could go take a plane trip at any time. While you you're stuck at home. You know what I'm saying you're stuck in a stationary house. You know what I mean? You know, slaving. And the thing is that a mobile home, it's so cheap. You usually just have to park that mobile home. And parking, depending on where you're parking it, it could be free. If it's a camping uh, location or it could be $200, $300 when it comes to uh, where they'll allow you to park the RV. And the other thing with the RV is that you're mobile. Let's say you're a gamer. You know, you could go to a game convention when you want. While someone who's living in an apartment or a house, you know what I'm saying, they have to save up, pay rent for that house, an excessive amount of rent. When they don't, when they aren't at that house the majority of the time, then, then here's the thing. You're a slave to that house. You have to go to that house to enjoy it. Then where then when you want to go somewhere to have the the house the home amenities you have to still go to your house you can't take it with you you know what I mean for for the single for the men going through child support and alimony you know and whatnot divorce your best bet is to invest in a mobile home you know what I mean you'll be mobile and the other thing is for your own safety as well. You know what I'm saying? If your quote-unquote ex has a problem with you, she knows where you live. You know what I'm saying? She knows where you live. She knows. It's not about she could send somebody to hurt you. She can go there and fake something happening. You know what I'm saying? Or she could come there unannounced and cause a ruckus that suggests that you beat her or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You're too predictable. She already got you in a state. You know what I'm saying? In the state, she attacked you. So how would you give her more opportunities? You have to become a minimalistic man. And your best bet is a mobile home. Because a mobile home, it moves with your speed. You're not a, You're not a slave to it. You know what I'm saying? When you live in a stationary home... What I mean by that is a home that can't move, your apartment is immobile. You have to always go to that location versus you could take it with you where you want, when you want. You know what I'm saying? Your best bet, especially with what you're going through, depending on if you're on alimony, it might be lifetime. You know, child support 18 plus, you know, whatever. Your best bet is the mobile home. And the thing is this, because you're on alimony and everything, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're going to be forced to focus on 
what's important in life, and that's your your own ability to be mobile and chase opportunities and maximize your ability, and at the same time, a peace of mind. I mean, you could take your mobile home to trips. You could do whatever you want with it. You know what I'm saying? While in an apartment, you're trapped. Your best bet is to be to become minimal. Isn't, oh man, I'm trying, I just divorced, I lost my home and all that. Let me go try to rent a home for myself or an apartment for myself. Let me reward the state that's betrayed and disrespected me and, you know, outright destroyed my resources. Let me reward them by paying them homeowners tax. Let me reward them by paying them, you know, apartment rental tax and all. Let me reward the land below me, below my home or apartment that literally hates me for being my, you know, a male, let me reward them. Let me show them a level of loyalty. You have to be loyal to being mobile and uh, chasing your opportunities and maximizing your opportunities. There's no point once you're a divorced man. Now, even, now if you're a, you know, a millionaire or you're, you're, you're doing far better than uh, the average man, maybe you can, you can afford to live in a home and so on. But even then, you know, what I'm saying that technically isn't a point when you can't even own the land under your home. And then the government that owns that land is outright disrespecting you every day as you live by trying to bait you into the family court and destroy you. You know what I'm saying? You don't reward them. And another thing is a lot of guys tell you, dude, go buy a home. You know what I'm saying? Go get locked in a 30-year mortgage. You buy a home and fix it, you could sell it. Well, just because you're, you're prepared to sell doesn't mean there'll be a buyer. And then again, your house might have a particular value in it. You know what I'm saying? Particular value as in it might be worth 300000 because of that neighborhood. And you've wasted over a hundred thousand or who knows how much money fixing the house, you know, boilers and all that stuff. You know what I mean? And then think about it. You're bragging about owning a home when you don't own the land below that home. And the land prices, the taxes that go up affect that house to begin with. So you're basically proud to be a sucker. You know what I mean? Then the other thing is you know, when you own a home, you know, the long-term effect is that you, you're not 100%, you know what I'm saying, accurate on what's going to go on. That home will, and, and they, well, here's the thing. thing is this, you own a home, you become part of that homeless, homer, homeowner association where they have to approve what you can and can't do with your home. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to build a 30-foot wall or or, you know, make your house look like, you know, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or, you know, like a Power Ranger base. You can't do it because the Homer Homeowner Association would have to approve it in your neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So you're you're buying a home so people could tell you what to do. You know what I mean? You're better off being mobile, being a nomad. You go where you want, when you want. You know what I'm saying? Because you're saving money living in that RV and you're not loyal to any state. You're loyal to the opportunity and you being a man on child support or alimony, whatever, you have to maximize your opportunities and being loyal to a stationary life, the same stationary house and apartment style you were loyal to that led to your destruction anyway. You know what I'm saying? It ain't worth it, you know what I'm saying? Insanity is you repeating the same thing. And then we're in a consumer-based country where they teach you, yeah, you could save money while spending money. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You're going to keep spending and saving at the same time. No, you got to choose. You know, you got to cut the fat, the luxuries out. And you being, a, if you're a divorced man or a man, that's paying child support, your best bet is an RV. Because it's you're going to be saving money while you're there, and the best bet is your mobile. 
You know what I'm saying? You're, if you're ex and you ever have a problem with your ex, how she she got to find you. You know what I'm saying? She got to find you. You know, you just drive off, whatever. Another thing is, you know, you live by the one strike. You have to understand, you know, those kids are no longer yours anyway. You know what I mean? You're a stepfather by blood. I'm going to do that video very soon. But uh, like I said, you as a man going through child support and alimony, your best bet would be a mobile home because you get to maximize your opportunities. You hear a job out of state, you could just go. Because your bed, your your couch, everything is built into, into the RV. You didn't have to bring anything. It was built into it. You know what I mean? So I would say you men that have been divorced or on child support, look into an RV and portable camper. You're better off that way. You're better off being mobile. Being able to maximize and chase opportunities rather than Yo, I got divorced now. I'm still going to do, still going to try to live through luxuries and struggle in an apartment, a house. I'm still going to put myself through hell. You know what I mean? So, while well, this has been hold the truth hostage, but if the truth was so important, you wouldn't negotiate with lies. Peace. They said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of.